People have been telling me up and down to react to Professor Lando's video explaining furries. Who is Professor Lando, first off? That's my question. What is a Professor Lando? Um, I'm assuming he's some sort of like parody professor teacher that uh just puts on shows on Twitch and, and sort of becomes like that relatable teacher. Is he an actual professor? Is he impersonating? Can't you like go to prison for that? For like giving yourself like a, a title that isn't it? I mean, Dr. Phil, but then again, Dr. Phil is making a shit ton of money. What's the, what's the, in, let's just scoop on Professor Lando. What is the scoop on this dude? <laughs> so submissive and readable, the intersection is bussy, intersecting with among us, that, that's sussy. Going further. Here we have a Japanese insult. Oh my god, what the fuck? Well, that went south in a matter of seconds. Like, who is he? What does he do? What does he do? He's from Ligma Universe. Okay, so maybe he's not a real teacher. I'm gathering this from th the video he just posted there. I don't think he's a real teacher or professor whatever you call them now, because as soon as you go to college, you don't call your teachers teachers, you call them professors. You call them a teacher, they're gonna like fail you or some shit. That was my experience. But Professor Lando, um, he's been popping up on my feed a lot recently. I haven't watched one goddamn video from him. Not to say that he's bad or anything, but I just, just, I haven't. The reason why you're a furry. I saw this and I'm like, oh God, this is a normie trying to explain what a furry is. And it's probably like 5% right. But from what you guys have been telling me and what I've seen here and there is Professor Lando is just, you know, a parody professor on Twitch and YouTube. I'm assuming he does his talks from Twitch, you know? If you're talking about- Yeah, him, he's got Twitch chat in the bottom right and all that. He gets all dressed up too and has a whiteboard. Dude, why can't I do this? I need this set up in my place. I got to do a whole presentation on inflation and why it's actually good. Not monetary inflation, more like the, the big and round foomp. This music is distracting. Fuck this music. Hold on. But yeah, the big and round inflation. I want to do a talk on that. From what I can gather about Professor Lando is he's more of a, a trendy professor, just parody for fun. Still learning about internet subculture from what I'm gathering, like Monster Girls, Yaoi, Omegaverse, MILFs, anime fandoms. He, he, he's just discussing geek culture and explaining in a manner that works. So when I see these three videos, something tells me that he fucked something up with explaining it. So he did another one two weeks later. Or I don't know, maybe he just saw that, hey, this was popping off because people People want to see furries being made fun of so he's like more ad rev and you know what i can't blame him at all so what i want to do today is i want to do a furries react hi youtube to these three furry explanation videos and somewhat judge it based on what i know about furries and what i've explained for the past what three ish years about what furries are in the fandom this is like one of those like you know like the buzzfeed like reaction videos of like this jewel thief reacts to movie scenes where they steal jewels and it's like this doesn't actually happen that's what i kind of want to do so yeah um which one are we starting with let's start with the oldest one let's actually go all the way back furries and monster girls difference one likes tfs one's just downright already a monster when your teacher starts streaming on twitch i want to get a better idea Alrighty, of professor welcome Lando. back to the stream everyone i'm professor landon uh if you Landon. remember, last stream we ended up with this equation. Can you take a uh, look at this oh. video of me solving this equation? Sorry, man. I don't click links, but uh, thanks for the five bucks. All right. Uh, remember, you got the sub Mood! Goal. I you love it. Goal. I might hit you up with a curve on the next test. All right. This off. You subtract from both sides. All right. Here we have four. Love so the stream. Subtract. Can you tell me how you knew where to start in the problem? Hey, sorry, dude. Uh, I only answer questions from subs every Friday. We do sub question Fridays. So, uh, sorry, but uh, thanks for the 10 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I just, I have to show this. I'm moving my screen. He has a sub goal for adding a, a curve to the next exam. That is fucking, I love this dude. That's gonna cancel out, and what are you left with? X equals 12. Let's go! Let's fucking go! That's trigonometry. Boom! Boom right there! 12x! Or algebra, sorry. Just algebra. What am I talking about? Tea fuel. Alright, whenever I'm getting a little parched, a little thirsty, need a little bit of a extra fuel in the tank. Dude, this guy has my sarcasm. I love it. All right, new flavor, birthday cake. Discount code Professor Lando at checkout. You'll get 25% off. 25%. One more time. That's T Fuel. And uh, like, I wouldn't say that if it wasn't good. He is right. totally me. I fucking love this. That I love I this guy. I personally use and personally it helps me. Okay, so I'm just keeping it real. I'm just keeping it real <laughs> <laughs> None of that fake stuff, okay? All right, stream, remember that we have a quiz uh, this Friday. Oh my. You deserve it. No way. 
no? BTW, could you show a little skin? Uh, thousand dollars <laughs> Smart Sim? You know, Tier 3 sub? This, but like, that is not... For that donation. What are you... Uh, sir? Don't forget, you know, if you want more of this, you can always go to my OnlyFans account. <laughs> Uh, me though link. hey man uh yeah yeah professor uh, pokey yeah she, she's a great teacher really smart but uh you know I, I don't stream i don't teach with uh female uh teachers because i just you know i don't want to cause any drama i love my wife if you guys don't know i have a wife and a <laughs> <laughs> no <love> no <laughs> He really pulled the ninja. Oh my god. He really pulled what ninja did. <laughs> and even fucking ninjas in chat. Finally, someone gets it. Okay, I'm actually gonna stop from here. I think I get the idea of what his humor is like. I feel like I'm gonna enjoy this. All right, let's just get this started. Furries react to your furry awakening. Explain. My furry awakening? Dude, it was fucking Charizard. That was about it. Not really that complicated. Furries 101. And again, okay, I should have prefaced this earlier in the class, but you know, Furries 101 is the intro introductory furry class really I consider my my lecture this semester to be like a general ed your introduction to ligma university um ligma me and i can point you to other professors that specialize i know some of you uh you're looking to become professor charizard is a nice time no i'm fucking not or or youtubers or your roblox developers or uh tiktok you know you know, before it used to be like firefighter and doctor and lawyer, but you know, society's way better off having people want to be the other stuff. How can you talk about- He's not wrong though. Dude, I swear to God, like 20, 30 years from now, I'm going to like be going into the emergency room and there's going to be like, I swear to God, they're going to check my follower account and be like, okay, is he important enough? How's his following online? Can we put him ahead of other people? Like we're going to have more fucking TikTokers than doctors. <laughs> My surgeon's just gonna start flossing on me. I'm like, God damn it, I'm dead. I love this guy. I know we haven't learned anything about furries, but I, I still fucking love uh, Professor Lando. Fursonas. Okay. What is a fursona? What is it? Via Wikipedia. A fursona uh, is a person. No, but you're not. I remember being talked to all the time in school of like, you cannot cite Wikipedia on any sort of essay or anything. It's, it's good help, but it's not accurate for what you're looking for in terms of citation. Either way, you know, he's a parody professor. I'd do about the same. Who cares? It's Wikipedia. A fursona is a personalized animal character created by someone in the furry fandom. The vast majority of okay. furries have Accurate. personas. They may yes. be anthropomorphic personas, idealized versions of their owners, fleshed out role play characters, or simply digital mascots. Yeah. Most see their personas yeah. as characters they created, but a minority believe they are the same species as their persona. Individuals create yeah. one or more personas, which are acted out primarily online. Primarily. That's key there. Why am I being called out right now? Listen, I'm getting a fursuit for my other two characters. One's horny, one's not horny. That's just what it is. Um, to be fair, I know he's citing from Wikipedia and also this isn't at all Furry Awakening Explained. Because if this was a lesson, the teacher would already have like the notes and everything beforehand. Uh, whatever. Uh, Mr. Teacher, uh, you don't, you're supposed to be prepared for class. You're not supposed to do research with us. Uh, I don't know. So at furry conventions. Yes. And in other public spaces. <laughs> I laugh too. Persona of a fursuit. You know, the heads always look big because, you know, it goes over your real head and it's hard to make it like look right because it would have to be smaller. But if it was that small, you would be unable to put it on. This is me or whoever. Yeah. And this is the fursuit. Yeah. Which is a vehicle for the fursona, the Vitruvian furry. Yes. I mean, he just explained it better than I did. Your fursuit is the vessel of your fursona. This is like the most chill approach to understanding furries I think I've ever seen from a normal human being. I mean, as normal as a parody professor on YouTube could be, but like, I kind of like him already. The Vitruvian furry. Me Vitruvian furry. <laughs> inside of this, usually two parts. Zipper on the back. That's how you usually get in. I don't know though. <laughs> if you could have, add a weapon to the fursuit, does that make you a mech pilot? See, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> the mech furries? That's genius. See me after class. Um, Has anyone told this guy about protogens? He would love them. Um, okay, this is the fun part. I love this first day. This is my favorite day of teaching furries 101. We are going to get a little interactive here, and we are going to craft a fursona, my fursona, on stream. 
live here collaborative co 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 collaboratively but before Mood. we craft a fursona you know we got to cover our bases okay i can't expect you guys to be versed so what kinds of furries are there? What are the fursonas? So the most common type. Is he explained what a furry is, is to begin with? He just jumped into fursona instead of furry. Like what is a furry? I hope to God he says it's a hobby instead of like a lifestyle. God. Kind of confusing, but I call it just furry. It's the furry furries. Could you say mammals? And what do we have yeah. there? What do we have there? Uh, I'll just use the example from before. You might be asking. <laughs> <laughs> the most furry bait character to ever exist. Lola the bunny. Love it. Uh, I'll just use the example from before. You might be asking, Professor Lando, why can you draw Lola Bunny so quickly? I, I, it just comes naturally. I don't know. So like an example would be Lola. Lola Bunny would be an example of probably Jesus, that's so good. Is he open for commissions? I totally take like a whiteboard sketch from him and just like take a picture with your iPhone 4 and just send it to me in a JPEG. I would take one. I'd take one easily. How much for? 50 bucks? Easy. If, if you upped it to 55, then I'm calling you out on Twitter and saying your prices are awful and you're an awful artist. Also, I'm going to ask you... Uh, if you can give me a birthday discount. He's already doing God's work and we're not even like halfway through the video. Probably the most common. I would, I would, I would probably say like we can just do this. Most common. Because you know what? Yeah. When you think of furries and when you see pictures of furries, most of them are mammalian. <laughs> most of them are the furry kind. Wolves. Dogs. That's pretty much it, really. Next on. <laughs> He's not wrong. He forgot foxes. Wolves, dogs, and foxes are like 90% of fursona species. A reptilian furry. Example would be, okay, he's the bug catching guy that you talked about. Yo, about crossing. that's a really good Animal Crossing character. I'm actually enjoying this lecture, even though it's not an actual lecture. You would think it's disgusting. Reptiles? Ugh. That's what makes it exciting. Anyways, three. <laughs> I don't know what does that mean? Than what I'm about to cover. What we does that mean, dude? We got the avians. Oh, birds. My example is that dude from Breath of the Wild. What's Cass. his name? I'm not as versed Cass. in the birds as I am reptiles, and especially bird the dad. Bird. Now, you know, I, I'm I'm hesitant to even include this bird one dad in amongst like the main pillars. Wait, the what? Pillars, really? But I'm going to do it anyways. Okay. This is where we we might lose some people. Okay. The insects. This one's interesting. Bird dead cast. My example but is insects. Mantis from Kung Fu Panda <laughs> would be my example. There are probably better... <laughs> I don't think he knows that there's like maybe 0.1% of personas that are bugs. Oh god, I've always wanted to be a furry because of Mantis. <laughs> oh wait, this is my furry awakening explained. That's why, okay. That's why he went to Lola Bunny, the most furry bait character. That's why he went to the reptile Animal Crossing furry from there. That's why he got cast, the bird dad. The bird dad of all the birds, furry bait character, and then Mantis. Mantis. Examples. <laughs> the dudes from Terraformers, maybe. <laughs> Dude, who the fuck looks at Terraformers? The, the, one of, like, the most brutal animes ever. And story-wise, it's fucking confusing. It's just like, cockroaches? Sign me up, furry fandom. Let's go. I'd show you clips from Terraformers, but like, that's like, oof. Particularly fond of this myself. <laughs> yes, voiced by Seth Rogen. So maybe, I mean, maybe that itself is explanatory in itself. We couldn't possibly cover oh. the entire like, you know what this thing is. You no. know, it, we, it would go on and on and DNA? on. DNA. We have enough whiteboard for all of the brand. If we oh, he's not talking about DNA. Niche type of furry. But uh, some honorable yeah. mention, I guess, is is like, you know, I'm not sure what, what do the fish count as? Some of them could fit here, you know, like, like, I'm just kind of making, this one's just from my mind, you know? Like, what is that? The the main thing we're kind of trying to do Sharks. here is being able to craft a persona. You know, he he's kind of got the right idea of it, of like, hey, your furry awakening could be from realistically anything that shows anthropomorphic concepts in media. Remember how we were talking about like how people become furry? Someone mentioned like Angry Birds, like Angry Birds made you a furry. I don't know how the fuck that does that, but like it happens. There are several different subparts to it. You know, some people can be made from furries because of Lola Bunny 
and Nick Wilde. That's like 50% of furries. While the other ones find the furry fandom through several other small things. It's it's very neat. It's just anthropomorphism in media. But let me let me let me go into a little more of my personal experience because I'm a teacher, I'm an educator, mm -hmm. I'm a I'm a Leo. I'm, oh no! I'm also a person. I <laughs> and have I my lost own you. Life experience. <laughs> Leo, it's, nah. It's fluid. You try to you try to track. You try to plan everything out, and it gets on up. And life gets on up, and you think it's gonna go this one way, and it doesn't. Yeah, that's, but life. that's life. That's just how it goes. <laughs> I, that. I want to show you guys that I reflect that by sharing one of my life experiences okay. related to this. If you're familiar with the Elder Scrolls series, no. I have a story about this. In the game Elder Scrolls Oblivion, you can, it's very immersive. It's a very immersive experience. You can go, you can kill things, you can steal, you can in immerse yourself in the world. And part of that immersion is like, in the game there are books, actual books that you can Argonians. read in game. And one of these books is a book titled The Lusty Argonian Maid. Seriously? So let me just no way. read you. I'm just going to read you. Dragon Maids? Excerpt. Is that where the Yu-Gi-Oh! archetype one, came from? Act 4, Scene 3, Continued, of the Lusty Argonian Maid. Okay. Well, this didn't help at uh, all. The character, <laughs> this is my personal depiction okay. of the Lusty Argonian Maid. He's still in really good book, at drawing it. I'd open it. I'd, I'd, I'd hire okay. him for commissions. That's the Lusty Argonian Maid's name, is Lifts Her Tail. It's kind of weird, but just, 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 okay. Lifts Her Tail. Certainly not, kind sir. I am here but to clean your chambers. Crantius Colto. I don't know if that's exactly correct. Wow. Colto is the, uh, is the other wow. character, which is also the author. Self-insertion, -ins fanfic, kind of weird. Colto. Is that all you came here for, little one? My chambers? Lifts Her Tail. I have no idea what it is you imply, Master. Are you sure this isn't just a fanfic that some man. random fucker... Uh, says, so you are my dumpling. Beth... Beth. a good one at that. Such strong legs. I... And shapely tail. Strong legs. <laughs> Lips her tail, says. You embarrass me, sir. Okay, let's get to the point of it making a persona. Own. Everyone has their own, their awakenings. Maybe multiple awakenings that lead to a culmination. Because, yes. again, it's like, you can read the books, you can sit and read, listen to the lecture. Yeah. You can listen to the lecture, read the books, but until you actually, like, do the do, you don't really retain it. So that's why we're going to, like, partake in here. So you learn I'm from examples and actual experience. I like and the way this we'll, professor we'll thinks. Work together and craft my persona. This is Professor Lando. Keep in mind everything okay. we talked about, the types of fur so the furries, right? The mammalian, reptilian, and the others, <laughs> avian. Um, and bugs. Uh, the fishies, the insects, okay? Baseline question, what animal am I? What fur, like fur creature, what type of animal am I? Baseline. And to answer that, there's, you know, there's like two, there's yeah. like two elements. And it, it, it kind of relates to life, really, because it, it's, 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 Oh, no, no, life example. Like what you want versus what you are. What is and what you wish is. That's actually kind of accurate for how you make a persona. You think about a lot of aspects. You think about a lot of your life experiences, what relates to you, and then you compare it with what you really want. Most of the time, people just go for what they want. I want to be a protege. I want to be a fox or a wolf because I like this animal. There's nothing wrong with that. The point of making a persona and making one that's accurate to you is a mix of trial and error and also a mix of just, fuck it, just doing it. And that's what I kind of like. He's breaking it down into two different parts. It's kind of neat. You know, you ask yourself, what animal am I? Well, there's one, it's like, what animal would you be most like? There's also yeah. the question of like, what animal would you like to be? There's a spiritual aspect because you can be uh, similar to yeah. an animal in, in physicality, but you can also be similar to an animal spiritually. There's like an essence. Students, I need to ask you like- That's like an me. entirely different part of the community. Uh, what animal is Professor Lando? Spiritually and physically. We have a whole mix. <laughs> Very interesting. The gecko, the gecko is interesting, but I can't not think of the Geico gecko. <laughs> the same kind of persona. It's the wolf. It's the dog wolf 
thing. Let's experiment. When's the last time you saw the worm persona? <laughs> you'd be you'd be surprised, actually. You'd be surprised. I have a very good friend who is a rat worm. Dead serious, a rat worm for his persona, and it's hella cute. Persona. It's just elimination. Chat. Let's come to agreement. Not armadillo. Not gecko. Not snow. What? Ma, ma, ma. Let's just pick between these. Owl or rhino. No Let's fucking fox. You're just gonna fox. throw that off the table immediately. <laughs> also, that fucking face. <laughs> That's still frame. Pretty good. <laughs> By a sliver, the rhino gang rises up. This is generally. Oh, he's making a rhino persona. Okay. A rhino. Um, kind of like glasses. me. Somewhat. And not really. You you want to just you want to you want to be able to seep in parts of your actual self. Okay. I have very furry brows. I have very thick brows. But rhino. So you want to be able to have some of your rhinos shine don't... through your persona. You know, like I'm not a rhino. Okay, it says. Can the horn be big? Yes. Okay. All right. Sure. This is sure. actually can looking the really horn good. Be big. Yeah, it can be big. It can be whatever you want. Can be whatever you want. I, See, that's I, 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 more I'm accurate honest. to my persona. Posture. I'm kind of like a, like a, like a Quasimodo esque. I see why you said Rhino because I'm, I'm like, I'm big, but not in like an intimidating way, not in like a strong yeah. way. You're like, like a like teddy in bear. A Quasimodo hunchback of Notre Dame way. I'm uh, like, I'm big. Okay. And maybe I'm big as in like kind of like, uh, you know, uh, kind of like, uh. Why do you have a gun? Yeah. Oh, that's a pen. <laughs> first off, that is a very accurate persona. And you got it on your first try? Oh my god. I never get my persona right on the first try. Most of the time, I either just steal it from like a, a, a video game or an anime, Digimon, or I just buy it. Someone just makes a design and I buy your character here. And that's what I did for my horny Sona. And then it's just like, oh, okay, cool. This is good. But like, first fucking try, hasn't really experienced the furry fandom much at all, is sort of learning it along with teaching it himself, and then fucking draws this right off the bat. Dude, you're fucking... Who is Professor Lando? He's he's pretty good. Oh, wait, wait, you're right. Wait, what? See, this is, this is where the participation comes in. Landon got the dumpy, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now he's thinking like a furry. <laughs> Landon do got the dumpy though. I love we him. We did it. Wow. Also, it shouldn't matter if I think it's good or if anyone thinks it's a good persona or not. It should be up to him. It's his choice. It's his experience in the furry fandom. It's his hobby. Um, fuck anyone else that thinks otherwise, because this is whatever he wants is his persona. You've come such a long way. We went from not even knowing what a furry is. I still don't know. To look at us. Who would have thought? Not me. I mean, that's it. We did it. It's a good we persona. It, guys. That was the first class. You got through your first class of Ligma U. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're on YouTube, uh, we do lectures live. Oh, hi, YouTube. Twitch. Link for that will be down below. Come join us live. You'll be able to um, uh, incorporate your feedback and interact with the rest of the students here. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell and like the video. He's great. He's great. I don't know if I necessarily learned what furries are. I think he just step, like went immediately towards like, hey, how do I join the fandom rather than like a little bit in between of it of like, what is a furry? What should I know about it beforehand? I think he just did it out of order. Let me see. Your furry awakening. Then he did the reason why you're a furry. Um, and then he did why people don't understand about furries. So that's probably explaining what furries are. And this is just more like furry TF and cows. So he somewhat did it out of order. Oh, furry curriculum. Ufology made. Oh, no. Okay, so again. He's, he's not wrong, though. He's not wrong. He goes all the way to, like, question five, part B, rather than starting at question one, part A. That's okay. You can do that. I skip around on the test all the time. But uh, it means we just have more content to go through and, and learn from Professor Lando. Also, I got to leave a comment. Thank you. Just gonna thank him. Little thank you. Okay. But yeah, that's uh pretty neat. I'm gonna have to watch more of this guy. He's pretty good. And it was nice to see that uh, you know, furries aren't furries aren't seen as bad, especially from someone who's just explaining it to non-furries as well. It's kinda nice. It's a breath of fresh air when it isn't like a whole cringy explanation of someone who's like, I did like five minutes of research. I know what a furry is now, you know? So that's kinda nice. It's a nice change of pace. And I'm really happy for this dude and what he's accomplished and what he's doing. Pretty good. Yeah. Your mom.